Okay, so for this problem, we want to solve this homogeneous third order equation. And we actually solved these back at the beginning of chapter four. So this is actually kind of a review problem. So the first step of this, of course, is to write down the auxiliary equation. And we know that that's going to be an r to the third power plus three times r squared minus four times r minus 12 is equal to zero. And again, that came from taking e to the rt and putting it into our differential equation. All right, so now what we want to do is think about solving this algebraically. You can always turn to your graphing calculator for support, especially when it's cubic, because we know it has to cross the x-axis. But this one's really easy to factor by grouping. You'll notice that we can put parentheses around the first and second pair of terms, and of course, be careful with your sign change. So for the first one, we can factor out an r squared, leaves you with an r plus 3, and then back here we can factor out a 4, leaves you with an r plus 3 again. And then we can factor out the common r plus 3, leaves you with an r squared minus 4. So that's going to factor with a difference of squares. So our values of r are going to be negative 3, negative 2, and a positive two. So our general solution is gonna be just the three different exponential terms because these three different values of R are all distinct and real. So our Y of T is gonna have a C1 e to the negative three T and then a C2 e to the negative two T and then finally a C3 e to the positive two T. And again, these are all linearly independent because you can go ahead and find the Ronskian or argue that it's going to be non-zero. So that is the solution of this third order homogeneous linear equation.